some of the panelists are testifying that having EPA regulate coal ash under Subtitle D will dramatically increase the incidence of cancer cases. In your professional opinion as a toxicologist, do you agree with their point? No, I, I'm not sure why people would say that. If you look at the regulatory impact analysis, it, it wouldn't support that um, at all. And then based on my professional opinion, like I, as I sort of mentioned in my comments here, those estimates that are in that analysis, and I, I don't remember the exact numbers, they, they would definitely overestimate the difference between subtitle C and subtitle yeah, can C. You, let, let me just, can you explain the difference between uh, toxicology and a public health assessment? Um, well, toxicology is more looking at human, human health studies, looking at animal studies, looking at in vitro studies, and garnering information about the toxicity of, of the chemical in and of itself, whereas a public health assessment more combines the toxicity information with the exposure information to understand how that may impact public health. Now, both it's very important, this has come up a lot here, talking about the toxicity of something. That's, in and of itself, that's sort of not a very informative statement. You really need to understand how people are exposed and, and what amount they're exposed to to really understand the public health impact. Also, as a former teacher, I'm a hands-on training type guy. So I'm going to also pass around now, if you're afraid of toxicity, don't touch. But if you're not, like me, you can see all of these uh, beneficial uses of fly ash and coal ash in, in reclamation and in production of stuff that you wouldn't even imagine. Countertops, shingles, uh, gypsum. So the, the concern today is if, as the EPA moves forward, uh, if they move in the wrong direction, they're going to do more harm than good because all this stuff that's, uh, that's in homes will then be considered toxic. We have a big issue, and, and the recovery and recycling ability of what we have now will exponentially create larger problems in landfills throughout this country.